everybody. So today we are going to do a fruit cake. Uh, this fruit cake has egg inside it, so it's a egg version. Uh, here, in, fruit cakes are very famous. If you see, if you, it's very commonly available in market nowadays. So you get this nice loaf ones, you know, and this slice it, and you have it like those. Uh, initially, they were uh, originated in uh, Roman times, okay, and bef like before, like some couple of years ago, uh, it was something which was more of like you know only wedding cake types, you know, or a Christmas time. Only during this time you would find this cakes, and people will consume during that time. But nowadays, as I said, it is very much readily available, and everybody consumes it, you know, uh, like throughout the year. Another uh, thing about the cakes is that this cake has fruits inside it. Now fruits when we say not the fresh ones, I am talking about the candied ones. So I have a candied, uh, here there is a huge mixture which, I, which is already made, mixed and kept. I will tell you about the whole thing, you know. So there are, you can put different varied uh, variety, you can put almonds, you can put your hazelnuts, you can put your candied peel, uh, then you can put your uh, citron peel, tutti frutti can go inside it, cashews can go inside it. So the list is, uh, like, you know, depends on you how, what you want to put inside it. But basically you can put a variety of fruits inside it. Uh, now uh, let's look at it. Ingredients used are refined flour, powder sugar, margarine, egg, baking powder, mixed dried fruits and caramel for color. We are going to start with margarine. Creaming method is to be used in this. Uh, I have already placed my vessel on a, a wet a damp duster. I'm going to soften up the margarine nicely. And then I'm going to put powder sugar inside it. The basic idea of uh, uh, creaming is what we're going to follow. So in that, uh, we have done cream before also. The same we're going to do. So we're going to put powder sugar inside this part by part. First, I'm going to mix it just like that. Make sure all margarine and the powder sugar gets mixed properly. Okay, everything gets mixed properly and then I am going to tilt it like this and I am going to start creaming. The whole process of creaming, uh, the idea behind that is to incorporate air inside it. Okay, keep creaming it nicely, this will take couple of minutes it's not going to be a very easy process I had cut some part in that okay now I'm putting my second portion of powder sugar inside it and I'm mixing it again like that the same way like I mixed before if I tilt in the initial state only there are a lot of chances that your powder sugar is going to fall out so we don't want that to happen that's the reason I am mixing it first and then I will tilt it again and I will start creaming it nicely. Always make sure you uh, sieve the powder sugar neatly. See, this is how you tilt it and you start creaming it again. Okay. Don't forget this again. Check whether the mixture has become light or not. See, can you see this mixture? The color also has changed a little bit and it has become more fluffy. Okay. This is because of creaming. I had fast, for, uh, fast forwarded it a little bit and when you check it in your hand it looks very uh, fluffy okay so that is when you come to know whether uh, the creaming has to be stopped or not we are going to move on to your eggs so I am going to break two eggs over here and I am going to beat it nice and fluffy and then I am going to put them inside in the cake. Take your egg beater and then start beating it nicely. The beating of egg is going to take quite some time till then we will talk about the fruit, mixed dried fruits what I had shown you. I had shown you a mixed one. In Those are normally soaked three months ago. This is a big tradition in hotels where they soak it a long time ago. 
and uh, they put different different types of fruits inside it they put uh, means candied peel is there tutti frutti is there cashew nuts almonds black raisin cherries sultanas you name it and those fruits are there inside so it depends on your choice what type of fruits you want to put inside it okay just they they make uh, there is a huge process called fruit mixing which is done in a hotel so you can go online and check what exactly fruit mixing is even in our college also we do the same process called as fruit mixing so these fruits are soaked 2 3 months prior and then we use it for your cakes you get a nice flavor inside it we also put some uh, spices like uh, cloves uh, clove powder cardamom powder cinnamon powder okay and also alcohol goes inside it lemon juice also goes inside it so there are different different items that goes inside it now we are going to put egg inside it okay but before putting the egg always remember you have to put a little amount of refined flour inside it uh one more ingredient that goes inside in your refined flour is your baking powder uh whenever we put the baking powder make sure you sieve it nicely so i'm going to sieve it nicely the whole reason behind putting a little flour while putting inside uh, when uh, putting flour before putting the egg inside is so that the mixture doesn't curdle uh this process is not necessary that you have to do it while uh, the eggs are been done you can do this beforehand only and you can just put the sieved uh, ingredients inside in the mixture but this is just to show you that's the reason i have kept it uh now see it nicely always remember baking powder is your chemical raising agent so always remember to see it all the ingredients that goes inside it like your powder sugar refined flour baking powder all this has to be sieved neatly Once the sieving is done, take the mixture, your uh, powdered sugar and uh, this thing, margarine wala mixture, and put a very small part of flour inside it, very small, and just mix all this together. Again, I am repeating the whole process of doing this is that so the when you put the eggs inside it, it the mixture doesn't get curdled, because we trying to create create a emulsion over here. Whenever you put eggs, make sure you beat them. no otherwise you will only get a liquidy part which has settled down over there and we don't that, want that so beat it nicely together then only you put it inside it okay mix it do not be too fast while mixing again there are chances that it will start curdling do not forget to scrape it again very important because there is this margarine or powdered sugar mixture which is stuck to your uh, wooden spoon and you at times you know uh, forget to check on that so just take everything nicely and just you know put it in between scrape everything from the sides and put it in between again put the egg second part of eggs inside it the eggs also has to be divided whenever you put again you have to beat the eggs two or three parts anything is okay no hard and fast rule just make sure they are divided properly when you come to the last uh, portion of your egg that is where the chances of curdling increases more so you have to be very careful do not you know mix it vigorously go slow mix it again slowly as i told you and here i'm going to put caramel color now what basically is caramel color caramel is basically your burnt sugar sugar which is burnt to the last stage the uh, technical name for it is also your black jack now this caramel is homemade okay so it's a little liquidy so there are different uh, uh, types of you know different uh, tech consistency of caramel available i am putting as much as require because if i put too much of it there are chances it will become bitter and it will become too dark and i don't want that for uh, that to happen to my cakes so i am just putting as much as require
now i am going to uh, all the mixed fruits which have been soaked uh, i am going to take a bowl okay in this bowl i am going to put all the fruits and i am going to mix my uh, fruits with little amount of one third amount of flour inside it the whole idea behind that is the fruits are very heavy so when you put it inside in the cake sometimes your uh, your cake uh, the fruit settle down in the base and then we don't want that to happen we want it to be evenly distributed so we so uh, we uh, coat it with your uh, refined flour then i'll put all my refined flour together inside here the moment your refine uh, sorry your refined flour goes inside in the mixture you have to remove your wooden spoon otherwise you will end up over mixing it and which we don't want we have to be very careful while mixing this you have to use cut and fold method while mixing your refined flour with the mixture it's very very important okay this at this time only you can put the fruits also so you don't end up you know over mixing it and go round and cut and fold cut and your fold okay that is how your cut and fold is done now in this i am going to put uh, some amount of water okay around 2 tablespoons of water uh, it depends on uh, mixture to mixture now cake mixture to mixture if you want you can put it you don't want it don't put it okay but just check in the end that your mixture is dropping consistency if your mixture is dropping consistency you don't need to add water if your mixture if after this also after adding water also it is not dropping consistency then you should add a little more water so it all depends on the ingredient see with this it is it should fall out like, fall like this okay so which means it is your dropping consistency now i am going to show you the lining of your butter paper uh for the tin this is your half kg tin uh if you see i have given a slant cut okay to the this thing uh, to the butter paper the idea is so that it it fits on top of each other when it goes in a circular uh shape in the tin okay so that's the reason we give a slant shape uh, cutting to it now put it like this and let it overlap okay because of the slant they are going to overlap in the base make sure wherever the fold is it is in the base can you see over here the fold i'm trying to give a nice corner to it see like this because there is a fold over there now this is the base i'm going to face put the base on top of it okay if it doesn't get this is basically a locking system so it will the mixture will not come out and then i am going to put the mixture inside it at this stage also if you think uh, that you need more uh, color you can always put a little more caramel inside it uh, evenly distribute the mixture over here it's very important okay do not bang the tin uh, you lose a lot of air some chefs do that but we don't so and the uh, tin the lining of the paper also comes off so that's the reason we don't do it uh, i'll show you another way in which you don't need to banging of the uh, tins is required just scrape out everything and put it over here and just uh, see with the spatula like this i'm just going to even it out one more thing about the fruits is just remember you can put any fruit whatever you want to put inside it only dried fruits but make sure they are around 150 to 160 grams okay and those can go in this rest this particular recipe i am talking about okay i'm done with this now now this is uh, going to go for baking for a really long time almost 1 hour to 1 to 1 and a half hour so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little water and i'm going to put it on top of it 
so that I even it out first of all firstly and because it is going to stay in the oven for such a long time it will not dry out that's the reason I'm going to apply water on top of it and you bake it at 150 degrees Celsius.